I've created a new Angular CLI project called Second Project, and this is what we're going to be working on in this unit. Done an ng serve, and here's the default view from app component. I'm going to clear that out, just like we did before. Clear app.component.html, and uh, clear out this title equals app in app component, and we have a clean slate. Now we can add a new component called the address card. So I'm going to kill this instance, which is running, and uh, I'm going to say ng generate component. address card. It's going to create these four files and it's going to add the address card to the app.module.ts so it gets registered in the declaration section with the corresponding import. So what we need to do now is add functionality to this address card component and um, just to verify that everything works I'm going to access the address card component from app dot component dot html so the selector is app dash address dash card I'm going to copy this over and in app dot component dot html I'm going to use this component so that we have something running while we do this and I'm going to keep the two windows side by side so that it's easy to see what our changes do Okay, so in my address card component, what I want to do is show some information about a particular person. So I have the name, the phone number, the address, or all that related uh, contact information. So let's start simple. I'm going to create a div here. Can you save this. We will tweak this as we go. So the first thing that I'd like to do is not to hard code this. This is just HTML. I'd like to take the use. I'd like to make the use of Angular and uh, the rich client functionality to have this be dynamic. I want to create an object in my TypeScript file for this particular person. And I'm going to refer to the values of that object in my component so that we can change the object in the TypeScript file and then have the view change accordingly. All right, so let me copy this over here so that I have that those values. And in my component, I'm gonna create this object. I'm gonna create a member variable so that it's available to the template. You remember, whenever you're accessing something from the component in the template, you access by default, the member variable so it makes sense to create that member variable so I'm going to create a member variable here called user and uh, this is going to be an object and I'm going to paste this here and tweak this I'm going to create a property called name which is the name here okay so this is our user object this is what is going to feed the information in my template. I'm going to close the curly brace. Now this needs to be inside the constructor. And I'm going to create, declare the variable here, the property of this to be of type any. And then here I'm going to use this dot user to refer to the class property here. So what I'm doing is creating a property called user, which is of any type. I don't want to create a type yet. So this can be any object. And in my constructor, I'm populating this dot user with my user information here. I think I have a, an extra curly brace. All right, there you go. So this is our user object. Now what I want to do is access this in my template so that I can potentially change the value of the user and have it reflected. So how do I do that? I do that by using the double curlies. I'm gonna say user.name to get the user's name. 
user dot title to get this user address to get this now here is the tricky part the phone there is no one element so this is an array what I would ideally want to do is get as many of these as are available so let's say there are three elements in the phone array I want to get all those three phone numbers and create those three paragraphs there are two create those two paragraphs if it's one just create one all right so we need to be able to do that we need to be able to loop through the elements over here how do you loop through the elements that's what we're going to be looking at in just a minute but before we do that what I want to do is just use the hard-coded index so I'm going to say user dot phone of zero and a user dot phone of one so that I'm forcing the phone array to contain two elements all right save let's see if this works no visible change so let's say I add an exclamation point here and press save you see this now it's getting the value from the TypeScript file which is cool but we are making certain assumptions here we're assuming that there are certain values in a particular way for example the phone we are assuming that there are two elements in this array and we are picking them up one by one we don't want to do this we want to be able to loop through the value here and depending on how many elements there are in this array we want to print that many paragraph tags with that particular element the way to do this is by using a loop a for loop this is different from a, a typical for loop in javascript where your loop is iterating through an array and executing logic here this for loop is going to be iterating through an array and rendering dom elements in your component you're basically going to be writing the loop in the template and that is an angular syntax that you're going to be using just like you use a double curly to get the value and add it to the template you're going to be using a special angular syntax to get the value from the component and then render a certain dom element so many times the syntax is to use an element called star ng far and what you need to do is first find the element that you want to repeat in this case it's a paragraph and add this ng far to it i'm going to get rid of this hard coded list here and now here is where i want the phone number we don't have this variable here but basically what we want to do is we want to loop this as many times as there are entries over here and then print each one of those inside the paragraph the way to loop this is by using star ng far equals and this takes in an expression the expression is the loop expression so the expression consists of two parts the first part is the array that you're going to loop over and then the second part is the loop element the loop item that is going to contain the value of each element as the loop goes through so the syntax goes something like this let item of items items is the array that you're going to be looping over and item is going to be the variable name that's going to hold the current element in that iteration all right so if you're looping over an array of 10 elements so this paragraph is going to get rendered 10 times and each time this paragraph is going to get rendered the variable item is going to hold that particular item that is being that's causing this paragraph to render so let's look at what the elements are over here so in this case our array the items array is this dot user dot phone so i'm going to replace this items with user dot phone this is the array that's going to be looped over and now each element i can give it any name really it really doesn't matter what i call it as long as i use the same thing when i'm rendering the paragraph i'm going to call this phone number so that it's intuitive that at each iteration what this is holding on to is a particular phone number from this phone array so if I do this, I should be able to let me save this and um, I should be able to see the, the same elements. Again, no visible change, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another phone number here and press save. And you see here that phone number also gets added. So this is how you loop over arrays and have template repeat certain sections depending on your data. This can be applied to any element in uh, your template 
And this is what's referred to in the Angular world as a directive, right? In Angular 2 plus, a directive is something like this, an attribute that you add to an element. This is different from what we used to call as directives in the Angular 1 world. In an Angular 1 world, a directive used to be an element or an attribute. It used to be something like this. Let's say I have this uh, hello world. This was also technically considered to be a directive, but not anymore. Something like that is a component in Angular 2 plus, and uh, something like this is what is called a directive. Angular comes with some built-in directives out of the box, and ng4 is one of them. It lets you loop over things like we've just seen. 